Hey guys. guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's Serena. And Marcus. We are back with the Cellus Cocktail Hour, you guys. Fall edition of Cellus Cocktail Hour. Last year we did a caramel apple sangria. You guys loved it. It is so delicious. Today we are bringing another fall cocktail. We are bringing you the caramel apple mimosa. Oh yeah. This is going to be a delicious addition to any you know dinner party that you might be having or even just a cocktail with uh, your lovely wife that you want to cozy up on the couch and watch some Hocus Pocus. Poor Marcus has already watched Hocus Pocus 500 million times. <laughs> he loves Hocus Pocus, don't you honey? I love it. <laughs> We're going to show you guys how to put this together. I'm going to show you what you're going to need to put this together and then Marcus is going to walk you guys through how to concoct your cocktail. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel. I put up new videos every week. Click the link below to subscribe to my channel and ding the bell if you want notifications every time I upload something new. I've got a lot of fall videos coming up for you guys. And if you guys have not seen my other fall playlist from last year, I will link that above here as well and you guys can check out all of last year's fall videos. Let's get started. I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need to put your cocktail together. You are going to need a caramel sauce. This is optional, but it makes it so stinking cute. And who doesn't love a good little sweet touch of caramel, especially with apple. Now you're also going to need a pressed apple cider. This is basically fancy apple juice. It's better to get the pressed apple cider because if you get pressed apple cider, you get the real apple in there. So I just think it's really great. This is just a simply balanced organic apple cider that I got from Target, I believe. It's basically apple juice, but just pressed apple juice. It's like the stuff that settles at the bottom. That's like the real apple goodness. You're also going to need a Martinelli's or some sort of a sparkling apple cider. That way it just kind of concocts with the bubbly and it's delicious. Now this is a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. This is the Smirnoff Kissed Caramel Vodka. You guys, this stuff is divine, divine, especially alongside apple, and it is just so amazing for your fall cocktails. You gotta pick this up, you guys. I'm serious. You're also going to need a bottle of bubbly or Prosecco. This is just the inexpensive cupcake Prosecco. I think that it works great. You can also get the La Marca Prosecco and like the blue label. That's a fantastic Prosecco. Just really basic and easy. You're also going to need for your topping or for your rim of your glass, you're going to need white sugar. You're also going to need ground cinnamon. Now, Marcus is going to take us through how to put this together. What we're going to need first, we're going to want to set up our little glass garnishing station, right? Right. So tell me, what am I doing here with this caramel and the cinnamon and the sugar? What are we doing? Sure, so you're gonna use two trays. In this case, we're going to use the smaller tray for your caramel, and we're gonna use the larger tray to dust the cinnamon sugar on top. So go ahead and fill this small tray with a little bit of caramel so you could dip the top of the glass into it. So like approximately like two tablespoons probably would be safe, a safe bet? Right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eyeball two tablespoons of caramel. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I just wanna like, is that weird? I just wanna lick it right now. You guys, I'm really into caramel. We've already established that I'm a bit of a sugar freak. So you're just gonna put a nice little layer there of caramel and let it sit in your little ramekin here. Ramekins are good because then it just holds everything. It's not like a paper plate where it's gonna spread everywhere. Yeah. So if you can do like a little circular small ramekin, that's probably good, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that, these ones are just the right size for our um, champagne glasses, so it's perfect. Yeah, they're perfect because they're just gonna fit right in there. Right, that's what we're gonna do? Exactly. All right, next, what are we doing? Next, we're gonna use equal parts of sugar and cinnamon. Okay. And we're going to mix that together in a plate. To create cinnamon sugar? Cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar, it's easy a, peasy. It's all in the name. Cinnamon sugar. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Way home. All right, so. So you don't need a ton of this either, probably about a tablespoon of both. So we'll just eyeball it, but you want to get precise you're going to measure it out and then we'll just <laughs> you guys i am a sugar freak oh that smells so good mm. 
so good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a fork and I'm just gonna whisk it together. That's probably like the best way to incorporate it and really get the cinnamon and the sugar married. Get it, married, Cellus cocktail hour, Mr. and Mrs. Cellus. See what I did there? You see what I did? You picking up what I'm putting down? Do you want me to stop? No. All right, so this is looking well incorporated and smells like heaven. You guys, there's just something about cinnamon in the fall. Happy fall, y'all. Okay, so that's nice and incorporated, I would say. Once those are nice and mixed together, you have the two stations for your champagne flutes. All right, the next step is to actually put that dusting on the rim. So you're gonna take the champagne flutes, first dip them into the caramel. Okay. And go ahead and wiggle those around a little bit to make sure that the top is fully coated in caramel. And we're gonna do this first, that way you get some nice drips of caramel going down the side. Oh. And then go ahead and dip that right into the cinnamon sugar. This, oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's already dripping down the sides. And it looks, I don't know, there's just something so decadent about dripping caramel. You guys know I am a sugar freak. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Again, this is just a nice aspect to, you know, give a little extra pop when you, uh, anytime that you taste the glass. Yeah, like, oh my gosh. It's just like what, margarita on a sh margarita on salt. It's like yeah. salt on a margarita glass. Exactly. Oh my goodness. I'm like really coating it on there. I mean, do you, but I'm like really making sure that every part of that caramel is just coating these glasses. Look at that, that's so beautiful. Ooh, the other one's already dripping, I can see it. So it gives a really nice aesthetic to the glass as you prepare the rest of the drink. Yes, I'm like really excited. Okay, take us through pouring these because I don't know if I can take it any longer. Now that we have the glasses ready, we're going to go ahead and mix together the cocktail itself. This is going to be really simple. We're going to use a half ounce of the pressed apple juice, a half ounce of the Martinelli's, and a half ounce of the vodka. And then we're just going to top with the Prosecco. All right, so that's the basic recipe. Let's go ahead and mix that together. Yes, please. Look at this. Dripping with goodness. All right, so about a half ounce. Ooh. And you guys, these glasses are just dripping caramel. Ooh. Yum. Making a mess. Making a mess. That's how you know it's gonna be a good cocktail. Caramel kissed vodka. All right, now we're gonna pop open the bubbly. This I always make Marcus do because I'm like, ah! One time my sister-in-law, she had, or who was opening it? Somebody in our family was opening it. We, uh, we partake in this family. And somebody was opening bubbly and she, she opened the bubbly and the cork whizzed past her her head and she said she could feel the hair moving on her head because it was so such a close call so the easiest way to do it is just to loosen up the metal part on the back keep a firm grip of the top part i like to twist a little bit so on your bottom hand you're twisting clockwise the uh, the uh, topper hand uh, the, the topper hand the upper hand you're going to twist counterclockwise like still sketched out over here like ah! other people often do this with a towel as well oh a towel that's a good idea i'm still too chicken i feel like i just will lose control and it'll break a window or poke an eye out Woo! there we go there it is nice and safe thank you husband mm -hmm. all right and then you just top with the prosecco All right, so now that you've got your drinks poured, the final step, if you wanna get extra cute, top it with a little apple slice just on the rim of the glass, just right on the side, cause you guys, how stinking cute is that? Totally forgot to mention the apple in the beginning, so don't run out to the store yet until you get your apple. It's just a nice way to garnish the dish to give that final pop. So cute. Oh, okay, Mr. Salas. The last step is to enjoy. <laughs> is to enjoy. <laughs> We're still enjoying it, you guys. Chills. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ding the bell if you want notifications every time I upload something new. Happy fall. That's it for today's video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.